Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Market Watch. Is that time of the week once again? We're talking about the Digimon card game market. If you want to know a fun little story here, I already recorded this with my mic not working. At least my mic is working now, and that's a, that's a really good thing. It's really nice when your microphone actually works. So that's my kind of day. I hope you guys are having a great day too. But yeah, the Digimon card game market. We have some cards that you're going to be very happy to see on this list that are quite low and really accessible, easy to grab. But then you're going to see cards that are going to make you cry, make you tear up, like you just cut onions or something. So take this all with a grain of salt. The Digimon market is absolutely wild right now. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs would be a very accurate description of it. But let's see what happens and let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And please like and subscribe. Smash potatoes, the notification bell. You already know the drill. With that, we start with the Omnimons here. So there's not if nothing too crazy happening with the Omnimon market today. However, however, look at Zwart Defeat, Alternate Art 1225. Look at Zwart Defeat, Original 1, Battle of Omni, 850. Why the hell is this one $14? Are we living in backwards, backwards world or something? Well, no, it's not that simple. It was way easier to pull Zwart Defeat in Battle of Omni than it was this set. That has an impact on it. But if you have any of these cards, you sell them. You get rid of them, like, right now. Like, you get rid of them now, today. Because the, the price is insane. And, yes, it's going up, but we don't know how high it'll get. It is a chase secret, just like like Proxima Mon, but Proxima is 20. I don't foresee a world where this exceeds Proxima Mon. I guess it could happen. I acknowledge it could happen. But this is a bubble that is just waiting to burst right now, I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Speaking of reprints and stuff, very interestingly, look at some of these reprints. We usually talk about the cards in the reprint set that are going down, all the Ghost Game Squad and all that. But no, the, today, just look at the reprints, eh? We have, uh, didn't remember, 25 cents. The, the common, the uncommon from back in the day is 4 bucks right now. Really good value, and it's shiny. What about Greymon here? Greymon a dollar with shipping. Again, other, every other counterpart of it, more expensive. Pretty good. And something like Magna Andromon. If you want to be a filthy security control enthusiast, you can do it for really budget now. Because Magna Andromon's here are cheaper than anywhere else as well. So this reprint set did give the budget buyer a lot of power. A lot of ability to make their dreams come true. And that's a good thing. It is honestly a good thing for the budget player. Uh, go nuts. Have fun. Enjoy the reprints. Don't miss any reprints just because you don't buy them now. Seriously, just buy them now. While they're under a dollar, just buy them now. Because you never know. They might go up in price eventually. Who knows? Next, Lottery Card Serious Mon. So the last sales on this card were $90 and almost a week ago now. Okay, there are listings for 85 that no one is really grabbing. And these are from reputable sellers as well. So no one seemingly wants to pay 85 bucks for the Serious Mon box topper. I do see it going down. I would get rid of it if you can. ASAP before this goes down to the toilet, basically. Shotmon X7 Superior Mode Goldware version. So, this card has just been going down, 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 and rightfully so. Crossheart isn't anything too exciting. Uh, nothing to write home about for sure. However, yesterday or the other day on stream, we were watching someone completely decimate with Shotmon Superior Mode in the Crossheart deck, or as some call it, X cross. But it's really cool that it's still seeing play today. Unfortunately, it's not enough play to see it actually go down in price. And I don't think it will go any higher than what it is. So, you know, maybe sell them. Maybe sell them. Event pack five cards. Stay away from them. They're still fresh in circulation. Absolutely no reason to, like, not grab them right now. Like, like to grab them right now, sorry. Don't grab them. Wait. Wait, 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 and then wait some more, and it's going to be okay. Look at this. Look at this. This lottery card is an example of the most unfortunate decisions in the world. First of all, this all force was never max rarity because of the original DC Grand Prix. Second of all, the reprint set came out, and there's an all force in that set, the same one. So this reprint, this gold lottery card, this expensive card, this really hard prices card to get, it ain't it, man. Unfortunately, if you invested in this, you're 
going in the toilet, and there's no redemption for this card. It's so far past the relevant, it's actually insane. So, with that, what do, you, what do I say to you? Well, if you like gold rare cards and you just want to have it because you want to have it, buy it. See if you can get a private seller to sell you for cheaper than 32 bucks because it's not worth 32 bucks. And this card's like honestly worth 20 bucks. Maybe. I see 20 bucks being the floor for this card. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, just try to get this card for cheap. Don't let anyone milk you on it, please. Um, Jessmon GX. You see, my microphone prevented me from showing something really cool. There were two listings there for 2236. They're gone. Now the next one is 25, 26 bucks, and then it goes back up in price. See if you can use this market data to buy yourself some cheap Jessmon GXs privately, because you might be able to do that. You just might be able to do it. That's how fast things change, though, by the way. Sometimes I record Market Watch, and, like, the stuff is gone by the time the Market Watch even happens. Like, the Digimon market is on crack sometimes. It's insane. Anyway, moving on. Next. So... Regional Participant Card. This is the new wave of Regional Participant Cards. This is the promo series one. This is not the good series one. This is the bad series one. You know when you open your RBO1 packs, you pull the promo card, and you pull this card, and you're like, oh, damn. Fuck. Why did I pull this card? So, yeah. People are selling this card for 20 bucks. There's a loser here that bought it for 20 bucks. That's super unfortunate. Do not buy this card for 20 bucks. It will drop drastically. If you want for your collection, wait a little bit. Calm down. And it's going to be okay. It'll, it'll be okay, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be okay. You can wait a little bit. Not a big deal. Next, memory boosts. Green is an example here. They're mostly going down. The ones from the new Adventure Box are mostly going down in price. Um, for good reason. First of all, these boxes are kind of everywhere, sort of. Second of all, the training cards are coming. And when those training cards come out BT14 and they're readily available, which they will be readily available for people, not short printed like these are, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because people are going to have the debate, you know, are you going to play the boost, the training card, or the memory boost? People are likely to pick the training card because the training card is better. So I expect these cards to go down in price to sell them while you got them. Jellymon and things like Gammon as well. While they're on the higher end right now, I see the hype train dying for these cards. Just because it's not, they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. It's an interesting story that we're going to talk about in a second here. Because look at Angoromon. Angoromon's actually exploding as well. Uh, and if you look at the buying power, people are still buying this. People are still buying this. But people aren't buying Angoromon right now. But something even more scary to show you. While the rest of the trio... Um, is going down in price. Altart Diarbit keeps going up. It just keeps going up. And people are buying it. And it keeps going up. Even Like, look here. See for yourself. Um, Sirius Mon and Arcturus are going down. Jellymon is going down. Uh, or Ephemon is going down. Uh, Sirius Mon, yeah. Diarbit is going up. It's more expensive than this card. More expensive than this card. And Diarbit, the regular one is exploding. Diarbit's going crazy. So there might be a few reasons for this. Future hype, yes. One reason. But also, so, as you guys know, probably, the first Ghost Game deck profile uploaded to this channel was Diarbit. Because that deck's my favorite. And after testing the decks extensively, I actually think Diarbit's the best one out of the three. I really do. It is the most consistent. It does what it does. It burns security. And that's really, really cool stuff for a green deck. I just find it interesting that the market seems to be agreeing with me. There might be a little bit of hype. That's okay. Hype is okay. It's good to have hype. Hype is healthy. But I just find it really interesting that the orbits are exploding right now. So take that information as you will. Maybe sell them while they're high. I would. Uh, Miri. Miri has three listings left at $10, basically. I expect this card to go down. Or, sorry, go up in price eventually. Because Miri is that good. Vaccine support is coming. There's Mastermon vaccine shenanigans you can do. Uh, but not to mention, Mastermon cards won't stop getting support. It's Mastermon. Everyone loves Mastermon. Might be an investment. Galactamon. Reminder that there's a promo level 5 for this archetype that has yet to come out. When it comes out, it might cause this card to go up in price. It might. It just might do it. Potentially. Maybe. Do you grab a couple cheap Galactamons on the chance that they go up? 
for some quick value. It's up to you. Or if you're a Lathamon enthusiast, um, grab them anyway while you can now. Uh, it's it's flatlined at 8 9 bucks. It's not going anywhere right now. That's fine. Scatter mode. Okay, real conversation topic. We were talking on Twitch the other day. By the way, if you don't watch my Twitch streams, you really should. Like, like what's wrong with you? You don't watch my Twitch streams? Are you okay? Anyway, we're talking about the potential of ban list coming because there's been no ban list for a while. And uh, Apoclamon in Japan is changing things up. It's actually kind of insane. Besides BT12, Marcus, and yes, Shine Raymond is still seeing playing BT15, by the way. Marcus is probably going to one. Get ready, all heart Marcuses. But something like a Ruru X from EX5 or this scatter mode could go down in price. Uh, I've offloaded all my alternate arts. I don't want them. I think it's too risky. Uh, if you guys want to play the game, you're more than welcome to try. But for me, it's not worth it. Other the things you can do. Magna Dramon alternate art. Ignore this 999 light play, because we're up to 20 for your mint. We're all there. The hype is real. Sell them. Sell them while the hype is here. Madoki Betamon. Five bucks. Uh, these floodgates don't stop seeing play. Maybe it goes back up in price one day. I think it will. Lastly, Garumon EX1 alternate art. BT15 Tai combos really well with this Garumon Inheritable because it can play it for free when attacking once per turn. And BT15, BT15 Matt, sorry, is a very good card. So it makes sense that this card had a bit of a buyout and it's going a little bit crazy right now. Now, do I think the card will go down in price as hype wears off? Absolutely. I don't think this card is going to stay this expensive. Maybe it goes up a little bit before it goes down, but I think it's going to drop back down in price. If you have them now, you sell them. If you don't have them now, you wait. And that's it, guys. That's today's Market Watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Bye!